In this video, I'm going to show you all the pals that you can use in the ranch in your base that will do farming. Now, these are all pals that have the farming work suitability. Much like Lamble over here, if you go ahead and you look at the work suitability, if it has farming, it has the capability of producing a resource. Now the ranch is unlocked at level five, which means as long as you have level five and you have these pals, you can put them to work quite early on. And you should, especially with lamb ball, because look at all this wool. If you want wool and you want cloth early on without having to go hunt a thousand of these, you can literally just put them here. And like after a few minutes, they literally drop hundreds of this stuff. To assign a pal to the ranch, all you gotta do is pick them up, go to the ranch in the middle here and just throw them in the middle and it will say fixed assignment to the ranch. Lambo will produce wool, Kremis will also produce wool, and Melpaka will also produce wool. These are the three wool producers in the game. The next pal we're going to talk about is Chikipi, and Chikipi, as you can tell, is going to lay eggs when assigned to the ranch. Chikipi is a very early game pal to get. It's number three on the pal deck, super easy to get, and you're going to need those eggs to make cake and other cooking ingredients or cooking foods, I guess, throughout the game. The next pal we're talking about is Vixie. Now Vixie can dig up two things out of the ground. She'll dig up pal spheres, the basic one, the blue ones, pretty much just like this. You'll see she's digging in the ground right now. And she'll also pop up arrows. So you can get arrows and pal spheres just from having her in the ranch. And if you fill up the ranch with all the Vixies, you will have a ton of arrows as well as pal spheres to use, especially in the early game. Vixie is an early game pal and you can find it over here on the map in this location over here uh, as you can see like all over this area from like the starting zone. The next pal is Mazarina. Mazarina is a cow and when assigned to the ranch will drop milk over time. Milk is an ingredient that you need in several cooking things much like making cake for the breeding farm. It is number 29 on the pal deck and can be found around this area of the map as you can see over here. You'll find it around like the central area here. The next pal is, well, two of them technically. It's Mao and Mao in its crisp form, which is like its ice form. And these will drop bags of gold. Now it's like 20 coins, 10 coins. I think it's like actually 10 coins each bag. It's nothing super crazy. I'm just showing you that you can form gold coins. Also, you should know that the ranch is limited to only four pals at a time. Like I actually do have five in my base, but that one there is excluded from the group. Poor guy or girl technically, because that's a female one. Now Mao and Mao Crest are number 24 on the pal deck and I believe you mainly find Mao in dungeons in the in the world. That's where I found Mao the most. Mao Crest can be found at the northern side of the map, probably at a little bit of a higher level though. Think it might be in dungeons as well. I mean, I've mainly found the normal Mao in dungeons in case you are interested in getting it. The next pal is Wooly Pop and Wooly Pop will be dropping cotton candy on the floor. Pretty much a very interesting resource, but she's the only one who drops cotton candy and you can see she's number 34 on the pal deck. And in order to catch one, you can find it at the habitat over here, roughly in the central area at this little location on the map. The next pal is Capriti and Capriti drops a, well, a bunch of red berries, well, one at a time. It's not super efficient. It's actually better to have a, a berry plantation farm instead if you want effective amounts of berries. But Capriti is able to produce berries when she's put in the ranch. She is number 35 on the pal deck and can be caught at several areas of the map as you can tell all over here. You're most likely going to find it there and there and I think here's a bit of a higher level and here's fine too. The next pal is going to be Bee Guard. Now Bee Guard is going to be your source of getting honey and honey is very important for making things like cake which you're going to need for breeding. Now Bee Guard is number 50 on the pal deck and can be found in the world around this location over here, usually around level 20 or so. It's going to be surrounded by a few Bee Guard and sometimes an Elizabeth with it, which is like the queen. But it should be pretty easy to go ahead and get one of them. The next pal here is Flambel. Now Flambel is going to drop fire flame organs, sorry, flame organs, which is kind of odd. It's also the same resources you get from like, you know, defeating or killing other kind of like fire type pals. They don't really produce it as much as you'd need it, but I mean, if you really want a bunch of it and you don't want to farm for it, this is a way. Flambal is number 70 on the pal deck and can be found in, well, very difficult areas of the map here, probably around level 30 onwards. And over here, I'm actually not even sure what level it spawns at over there. But if you want to go ahead and breed yourself a Flambal pretty early on, pretty easily, you're going to need the breeding farm, which you unlock at level 19, and you're also going to need cake, which is linked in the description of this video. And to get Flambelle, we have to breed two pals of a different species. 
the first pal is going to be T-Fund. T-Fund, pretty easy to get. You can see in the habitat is found pretty much like all over the world in various locations. Really low level too. And you're going to breed with Pristella, which is the, the flower with the red hair. The habitat is mostly found over here. I think it's around like level 10 to 20 in this area. Pretty easy to catch as well. And then you're just going to go ahead and pick up a male of one and a female of another and throw them into the breeding farm just like this over here and you will see the breeding will begin and the egg will start making progress. Once that timer is done you will see there'll be a new egg, a scorching egg and if we go ahead and we put this in the egg incubator you will see we'll be able to breed Flambelle every single time by mixing these two species just like that. So that's how you can get Flambelle really easily. The final pal that you can use in the ranch is Siblix. Siblix is one of the best, especially for the end game kind of content over here because high quality cloth is what they drop and they drop a lot of it as much as the ones who drop wool. So they're incredibly highly sought after. Siblix is number 79 on the pal deck and can be found all over the snow area of the map, usually around level 40 or like high 30s. So not really something you can get early on, but we can breed it really easily early on. And to breed a Siblix, you're going to need two pals. The first one being Nightwing, which is really easy to get. You can find it all over the map at these locations over here. Really common pal to find. And you're going to breed Nightwing with Cinemoth, which is also incredibly easy to find. You'll find it over here around like level 10 to 20, usually probably around like 12 actually at this location on the map. And if you go ahead and you put them in the breeding farm, just like this, like I've done here, you'll see the egg bar will start progressing. And eventually you'll get a nice large frozen egg and if we go ahead and incubate this you will see this will be Siblix every single time where you breed those two pals together just like this. And this is how you're going to get Siblix really early on without much hassle so that you can throw into the ranch to get, I mean look at that, I just looted all of this stuff and it's full again. Like what dude, like high quality cloth for days. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.